Welcome everyone to um, another edition of my um, Q&A segment, Ask the Angel. I am your host, Redwin Angel. Why? Because no one is a saint. Um, we're going to kick off um, straight away, um, before we do actually. Um, a small update, um, I'm do uh, hopefully going to start recording stuff on Saturday um, as sort of like a review show. So it would be great if uh, the people who like my page could uh, tell me you know, what to review, I do anything from uh, films, games, whatever. Um, no horrors though, I'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to horrors. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, we're going to kick things off. Um, the first 12 questions are from my mate Richard. Um, question number one, we see you as, um, <coughs> excuse me, we see you as the Red Wind Angel on Facebook, but I'll tell you to a lot of people, you're Hugh Price. So my question is, why the fuck is a cat the most useless fin since the two prone plug? Socket. Um, I'm a cat person, so I personally like cats. Um, the whole reason you buy a pet is for companionship. And even though uh, cats do do fuck all, uh, except lie around the house and scratch shit on your sofas and shit and stuff, um, they are there when you need them, I guess. So, um, eh, not so useless, in my opinion. Uh, the next one is a serious topic. Um, how do you think the case of a missing girl should be? Um, I think they're doing all the right things, to be honest. I mean, um, you know, I'm not really proud to be Welsh, um, you know, for a lot of reasons. Like, um, I mean, it's, from my personal experience, being Welsh is a wet and boring place. Uh, but one thing I can be proud of is, um, you know, in regards to this case, uh, it made me realise is the people of Wales, when, you know, when they came together and, uh, you know, they basically search for this skill, you know, it, it makes me proud to be a part of, uh, of Wales, to be honest, when you see stuff like that in the community. Um, uh, as for the people who did it, they just need to be, you know, taken care of, if you know what I mean. Slow and painful. Um, next question, uh, the X Factor situation, uh, talk about the X Factor situation. Um, I don't really know about the X Factor situation. Um, from what I understand, um, someone who was good didn't go through, someone who was bad went through and Louis Walsh sort of changed his mind uh, to put one who was good through. Something along those lines, I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't give a shit about X Factor to be honest, I mean, um, you know, as people who want their five minutes, it is a, a five minutes of fame competition, you know. I'm, where, you know, they have one or two songs that end up being, like, number one or something, uh, or top, the yeah, top of the charts. Excuse me. And then you just fuck off, you know, you don't hear from them again, so. Honestly, I couldn't give a shit about X Factor, I think it's a load of bollocks. And they don't play my kind of music. You know, if someone came on stage in X Factor and started playing, like, I don't know, Metallica, Iron Maiden, and stuff like that, then, yeah, I'd probably start watching it. For that guy. But yeah, but you know, what the chances of him actually going through if he plays that? Um, who is the next guest on the show? Richard? Anyone? Um, I have pl I have a plan for the next episode where I get a tattoo done. That's a spoiler alert. So anyone who really wants to, um, you know, be a part of that and sort of like come along with me and watch me have a needle scraped across my skin, yeah, come along. Anyone can be a part. I want Richard actually. Uh, you, I want you on my show because. Um, we tried to do anything for the show where I interviewed Richard about, you know, wrestling topics because me and him are big wrestling fans. Um, <coughs> but my camera, my old camera, uh, fucked up on us, so that footage was never really seen. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind Richard uh, if you came back on the show and we could do something then uh, when you're next in uh, the area. Um, or, you know, the photographers and models I work with, um, Tyler George, um, uh, Rebecca Quinn, Little Miss Violence, um, Abby Rose, you know those guys, um, you know, the females are pretty damn hot, so I'm pretty sure, you know, they get a lot of views, maybe some new likes on my page, <laughs> so yeah, um, anyone who wants to be a part of my show, I mean, clear, just ask me and you can come on the show, you know, no problems whatsoever, um, well, here's a random one from Richard, um, Tristan lives 8.4 miles from Zoe's house, while Gavin lives 7.6 miles from her house. Which one got her pregnant? Um, the answer to that one, bear with me. 
the whole Xbox game talk in the morning. Uh, as to that one was Paul, who is the pool boy for um, the Manson, who lives just down the road from the old house. Um, have you considered going back to college to do a one-year type course in media? You could learn shitload from it and have access to equipment and even set up side projects with the model people you know, Richard. Um, yeah, I have considered going back to college, um, but to do photography, uh, so that I could work with the models. Um, and no, it's not because of what you're thinking, because I'm a guy and I want to curve on them or whatever. No, it's because they are generally talented models and I like their work. Um, and you know, the photographers I know have produced some excellent work as well, I think they're really or inspiring sort of, you know, pictures that they've taken of these models, you know, they've captured them perfectly, you know, and I want to learn how to do stuff like that. Um, but I've never really sort of, you know, I never really did anything about it. Um, so, uh, as for media, um, I don't really, see, you know, this is pretty amateur based what I'm doing now, I don't really fancy, you know, it'd be kick-ass if I had like a awesome like intro video with like, I don't know, me walking through flames and fucking buildings exploding by me and shit like that, you know, but, um, I don't know, um, yeah, it'd be cool to have, like, a, uh, do something like that for an intro, but, um, you know, I'm sort of, like, teaching myself, uh, you know, the whole editing thing, um, speaking of which, um, before I go any further, um, I may have landed me a job, this is an update for my site, um, I may have landed me a job, but it's unfortunately back at Amazon, but, you know, with weekly pays, I can actually buy a new laptop, buy better fucking equipment and, you know, give you high quality videos that, you know, which is what you want from me. So, um, you know, I'm uh, sort of chuffed about that. Um, I mean, it's only up till Christmas, so what would hell be without uh, the Red Wing Angel? <laughs> so that's why I'm going back to Amazon. <laughs> um, next question then. Um, is it too early for Christmas music? Because I think the fucking answer is yes. All of these are from Richard so far. Um, no, I don't think it is too Well, it is early, but I don't think it's too early. Um, for Christmas songs to get you in the mood. Um, question number eight. Dilly Gaff. I had to ask him about what Dilly Gaff was, because I honestly didn't have a fucking clue what it meant. Does it look like I give a fuck? Richard. You can see me, um, you know, via this video. I can't see you, so I can't really tell if uh, you're giving fucks or not. Um, question 9. Boris Johnson, explain. I fucking love Boris. In fact, I want him as a guest on my show. Because <laughs> he is just off his fucking rocker. He's such a character. Um, it just goes to show that even the crazy people um, in this world uh, can have power. Vote for me for Prime Minister. <laughs> um, what TV show from your childhood would you like to see come back on the air? Richard. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, personally, I would love to see Noel's House Party come back. I loved that show as a kid. I thought it was the funniest thing. I mean, I remember just sitting, I think it was every Saturday morning. I just remember whenever it was on, I always sat in front of a TV, you know, watched it with my sister, and I think my parents were there as well. I don't think they cared much for it at all. Um, <coughs> So yeah, I would like to see um, North House Party come back on the app. That was awesome. Mainly for Mr. Blobby, because that guy was awesome. <laughs> um, Gangnam Style. Richard. No. Just no. 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 Uh, question number 12. And he's done a favourite quote of mine from the Avengers. Actually, this is my favourite quote ever. <coughs> Doth mother know you wear of her drapes? No, I've gotten away with it. <laughs> oh god, uh, that, obviously that made the movie for me, just that quote, it was just hilarious. Um, I was literally in tears when I heard it, for the first time. Um, this was from Hannah, um, question 13. Oh, that's ironic, it's question 13, and her question is, what do you think of witchcraft? Hmm, spooky. Um, honestly, I think uh, our lives would be a lot better if shit like that did exist. But I, I personally don't believe it. The fuck is that? I've got shit sticking to me. Um, no, I don't believe in witchcraft. Um, but I think it would benefit our lives if it did exist. Uh, oh god, this one was a hard one because I have to think back to my childhood again. Um, what, what about who is your favourite rug rat? 
And do you think the London riots started because of Tommy's screwdriver? And that one again is from Hannah. Uh, my favourite rug rat, I think his name was Phil. I think. One of the. One, he was one of the twins. Um. And uh, do I think the London riot started because of Tommy's screwdriver? No, it's, uh, the London riot started because uh, David Cameron and his obsession with tax and pasties. What a dick move. No, David Cameron, no. That's why I should be Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting that, that image sink in of me being Prime Minister. Oh, I'll give you a minute. Done? Yeah? Think of all the good changes I'll make? Yeah? Okay, good. Um. Next question is from Scott. Uh, what wrestler do you think should be noticed more? Uh, I'm a huge Zack Ryder fan. Uh, he's the reason I'm, I've set up my own web show. Um, he's inspired me. <laughs> so yeah, Zack Ryder should be noticed more. And definitely Drew McIntyre. The guy has got awesome interest music. He's got a character. He's uh, he's got all the talented world in the ring. Um, and he's ended up in, in the shittiest stable ever with... Um, Jinder Mahal, who no one really gives a fuck about, uh, and um, the worst guy to ever pick up a microphone, because I, I swear to God, I'd rather watch a Divas match than listen to him on a microphone, Heath Slater, the one man band, God, the reason he's in the one man band is because no one wants to fucking be with that asshole, um, so yeah, Drew McIntyre and Zack uh, Ryder for me for that one, um, Oh, and Coffee Kinston, actually, uh, Corey mentioned that um, in the comments, so yeah, Coffee Kinston, but he is actually going to be, um, spoiler alert, he is going to get a push very soon, because uh, um, there's talk about um, our truth and Brodus Clay from an attack scene now, so um, yeah, uh, Coffee Kinston, Drew McIntyre, and Zack Ryder. Um, Batman or Superman, who would win and why, Dano? Um, Superman hands down, because... Uh, he could fly, he's super strong, um, and unless Batman has kryptonite, um, yeah, Superman will own Batman. Um, how long have you been watching wrestling, and who was your childhood fave, Dan? Uh, my childhood favourites were, um, I've been watching wrestling for 15 years now, and my childhood favourites were um, Shawn Michaels, who unfortunately is retired now, and uh, Eddie Guerrero, who, as uh, most of you know, passed away. Um, he celebrated his what was it, 45th birthday? Uh, recently? Uh, I think it was sometime this week actually. Um, well, he would have been 45 anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my uh, two childhood favorites. Um, I liked Chris Benoit as well. Um, you know, it was really unfortunate about the circumstances um, that happened with uh, Benoit. Because uh, I honestly stand by the belief that he is the best, he w was uh, the best technical wrestler ever. You know, stepped into a ring. Um, him, uh, Dean Malenko, and Kurt Angle are my top three technical wrestlers. So, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, definitely Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, and uh, HBK are my favorites. Uh, going <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting over a bit of a cold. Um, it's been with me for about two weeks now. Uh, well, it's going anyway, so, um, uh, where am I? Um, ah, question 18. Uh, if the population of Britain has been offended by something, how many of them would be by Frankie Boyle? That uh, one's from Scott. Uh, I don't really keep uh, up to date with comedians or, well actually I don't watch that much TV to begin with. I just use my television screen um, to play on the Xbox and use my PS2 as the DVD player. Um, so I don't know um, about that one, but um, I know Frankie Boyle does his best to cover, you know, all nationalities from Welsh to English to um, Scotland. Um, is he Scottish? I, actually, I think he does take a picture of Scotland as well. I'm pretty sure he did uh, at one point. Um, so he's pretty, he's pretty much covered them all, <laughs> just tr just trying to piss them off. So um, you know, if you can't take a joke, that's your fucking problem. You know, I personally think Frankie Boyle is hilarious. Um, next question again is from Scott. Um, Rock coming back to WWE then leaving again. Your thoughts? Um, I'm a big Rock fan. I think he's great on the mic. I think he's great in the ring. But uh, you know, it is. A bit, you know, John Cena actually covered it in one of the promos he cut, um, where you know he left and then come back and then left and then come back. Um, it's leaving a sort of like 
bad sort of like memory of the rock, you know, because um, you know everyone was excited when Rock came back, and you know, uh, you know we understand that he's got like um, you know other commitments outside of the wrestling business with movies. Uh, he's actually a pretty damn good actor. We've got uh, Walking Tall and um, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, I love those films. But um, I'm not all going to Tooth Fairy. I mean, that's one thing I don't get about The Rock, and I'm gonna sort of like do a sort of like mini shoot here, is where he was basically a god in wrestling, and then he leaves and he becomes the Tooth Fairy for a film. I mean. It's like, I don't know if you've seen Hulk Hogan do uh, his impression of Amy Winehouse. Uh, yeah, it's as it sounds. Um, I don't know what it is with the greats and ruining their image. Because, um, The Rock and Hulk Hogan, you got The Rock who was a tough fairy. Uh, Hulk Hogan who was, um, fucking doing impressive Amy Winehouse and being in a sex tape now. That's been hitting the news recently. Um,. So yeah, uh, is money really that bad for you guys in the wrestling business? I mean, you guys are fucking icons for fuck's sake. I mean, I can un sort of understand Hulk Hogan, you know, he had the divorce from his wife who took basically most of his shit, but oh, fuck it out. You know, I mean, The Rock is just awesome in the ring and he just fucking ruined it for himself. Um, yeah, I, I, I personally would like to see The Rock come back, you know, on a more permanent sort of basis with WWE, but that's not gonna happen. Um, I hope CM Punk kicks his ass at WrestleMania. If he wrestles him at WrestleMania, which I hope then. Um, is wrestling too story based these days, or do you think it's a good mix? It, it's sort of a good mix. I mean, I think it is more leaning towards story uh, telling now. Um, because you got, you know, you have um, uh, an example from Monday Night Raw was, uh, we had a great match set up where it was Wade Barrett. I didn't actually watch the match itself, but I sort of know what happened. It was Wade Barrett versus Sheamus in a non-title match. I did not. People were excited to see this match. You know, I mean, I've been, um, you know, on forums and shit like that, and you know, people always wanted to see Wade Barrett versus Sheamus. You know, because it would be a great rivalry. And uh, we had the Big Show come out, who was the current number one contender to um, basically interfere or cross distraction or whatever. So yeah, it is a bit too story based. Um, for my liking, whereas you could have uh, you know a great match, you know where um, you know as um, that's one of the good things about um, promotions like uh, Ring of Honor where they just you know sort of have um, uh, they had like a what was it one hour match between Samoa Joe and CM Punk I mean that was fucking awesome man huh? uh, something along those lines you know um, worst movie I've ever seen and that one again is by Scott. Um, the worst movie I've ever seen was called One Side of Town and it features Rob Van Dam and Batista. Um, and, you know, those two were fine. It was a typical actor, you know, action movie. You know, same old story about, um, you know, someone's put a hit on a guy and, you know, he's fighting to get, get to the guys who um, did it. And, but what really ruined the film, you know, that was just a typical based action film. But um, what ruined it for me was the acting of the uh, one who played um, Rob Van Damme's daughter. Oh my, she can't act to save her fucking life. I mean, she just got kidnapped and, uh, you know, as soon as she's got released, can I get a tattoo? No, no, it's not, you know, when you get kidnapped, you don't fucking ask for a tattoo, you, you fucking shook up. No, fucking hell. Anyone could act better than her, fucking hell. Um, yeah, watch the film, you know what I mean, because she was just awful. Uh, WWE or TNA, Scott? Uh, WWE, uh, I like TNA, but, um, you know, there are some great guys in TNA that I like, uh, James Storm, um, Sting, um, some more Joe, uh, but, um, yeah, uh, I'm, a, I'm a WWE guy from and through because it's a big company, you know, um, so yeah, uh, Goku or Vegeta, Scott, Vegeta hands down, he's he is my favourite character of all time. I love Vegeta, he's hilarious. Because he plays a tough guy at you, but he, has, he plays a tough guy, but he has his comedy bits. Or, uh, yeah, Vegeta hands down on that one. Um, what are my plans for the future wrestling companies and whatever, Scott? Um, I'm not built for a wrestler. Um, I think that's pretty clear. I'm, um, you know, I'm t what, 22 years old, I'm already beat up um, from doing fuck all. 
Um, I don't go to the gym, I don't work out, I don't have any confidence. Um, there's my list of flaws. <laughs> but I do have a good, I feel like I have a good mindset. So I think, uh, you know, if I was going to go into wrestling, you know, I could be like the backstage guy, you know, the, the um, like, hell, general manager for fucking, um, you know, part of the creative team, you know, writing up storylines, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I can see myself doing in wrestling, uh, not actually being in the ring, but being, you know, you know, behind the scenes guy, you know. Um, Ah, I, I said uh, I do the voice, um, uh, attempt to do the voice, but I need some water back in need. <clears throat> and this question is from Dan, and uh, if you don't get the reference, then shame on you. <clears throat> <laughs> I once wanted to be an adventurer like you, but when I found out that you took an arrow to the knee, I questioned myself, what are the benefits of being an adventurer such as yourself? Dano. Um... Yeah, that was the worst uh, Skyrim guard impression ever, you know that. Um, to answer the question, um, you have medical care um, where, um, you know, people um, remove the arrow. They don't do anything else, they just remove the arrow. Um, you get dental. Um, I think you have house insurance, free house insurance as well uh, when it comes to uh, dragons bringing it down. Uh, and you uh, get paid in sweet rolls, so yeah. Uh, sweet rolls and uh, honey brew mead. So um, yeah, that's all the que uh, questions I got, uh, guys. Um, can I? Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, for you know the next time I um, do this, if you guys could um, you know uh, you have noticed the same sort of people. I'd, I'd like more people to sort of answer. That. I, I you know I'm not against those guys, but I'd like uh, more variety of people asking me questions. You know. So um, yeah, that's um. I think that's it. So, um, this is the Red Red Angel Gabriel Storm, and you're not.